Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Immersive Gaming, my name is Luthias and finally we have come to the most concise series I've planned in a very very long time and yes these videos are going to be no longer than 10 minutes so to start off if you want to learn everything there is to learn about scum at the stage of 0.5 I will be doing these videos probably once every six months okay but this will be the complete guide for the current version of scum the reason I will be updating the guide every six months is of course because scum um, goes through a lot of changes so there's a lot of things that change so what you can be expecting in this series is number one is of course the steam scum graphic settings explained for 2021 going to we're going to just in detail discuss what the individual graphic settings means for the normal person you know that's not very it savvy or very camera savvy then we're going to go into a skills guide okay what skills um, and attributes help you then we're going to go into a skill the fastest skill leveling guide then we're going to do a loot guide and so forth okay the series will probably consist of about 10 to 20 videos i'm not sure but we will be covering everything and then when we're done with that we're going to be covering a hardcore challenge to see how long I can survive with all the advice I've given you on a nearly impossible challenge where I will be putting myself in a hardcore setting environment and with a population I'll be creating a server with about a 10 pop and then you guys anyone that wants to try and suffer with me can join the server and my series will be uncut okay so that no one can use any admin commands and then we can just see who can make it and who can achieve those goals and after that we will just be having fun on survival evolved our own community server which is a heck of a lot of fun which i will be playing on daily and working on certain um, goals that i have to create a character that can basically do everything you know um i do have friends playing with me which um, can help me get into a kill box and can help me raid and can help me with everything but my main goal on my server survival evolved is basically to create a character that can do everything okay and push the limits of what you can do with a character if you put a lot of time into him but without wasting any more time let's do the graphic settings okay now for the average joe i feel graphic settings um in scum is quite confusing uh, because not only do you have the co nvidia control panel or the amd control panel whatever graphics card you use um i haven't used an amd graphics card in a long time but one thing i know is that your windows graphics settings combined with the game's graphic settings can be very confusing but I do want you guys to note that you can get a lot of performance by tweaking your graphic settings in Windows along with tweaking your graphic settings in game. Okay? But because this is a scum guide, we're just going to focus on the graphic settings in scum. Okay, guys, so here we go. I have just cut um, here because I spoke for 30 minutes again. So let's get this much more short. As I'm going through the graphic settings, you can copy my graphics and just make notes about my advice. Okay. The first thing that I want you guys to focus on is the render resolution. You've got a lot of options here. That's going to give you the best FPS increase. Okay, so it's a very high FPS increase. On full screen, you can go borderless or windowed. Full screen will give you a, a few um, few more frames, okay? And then we get to the graphic settings, okay? Going from low to epic presets will help you, of course, but when you do that, you will see that the settings aren't perfect. For instance, if you take an epic um, graphics preset, your texture quality will automatically be on low, okay? And then people go, oh, Epic is the best setting, but they don't realize that the presets are a bit buggy, you know, where it's not the absolute best settings that you can have. So let's go. Dynamic shadow quality. Dynamic shadows are shadows that are calculated in real time 
to look like the object's real shadow would, based on shape, based on the shape of the object and the location of the light source. This is a com computationally expensive task, so it was not feasible in older games. Okay, so basically just to let everything shadows look the way they're supposed to look. Okay, which is not extremely important for me. So I used to put it on high. It's now on medium. Post processing used to have this on high. Okay, but it will give you a bit more. It will give you a bit more processing. Okay, because what post processing is is the process of applying filters and effects on an image of a game. In this process, the game renderizes its images. However, before it's before it is sent to the monitor, another rendering process will occur about about the original image. Then a lot of effects and filters will be applied directly on it. So it does help visually. If you want that little bit of extra filters, put it on high. Okay, I'm gonna go on medium at the moment just to see if it gives me a little bit more fps v-sync is directly um, connected to screen tearing and we all know how that works so we have seen i have said that the res render resolution helps you and then from effects right down to view distance has got the biggest effect on your fps okay the effects quality the texture quality the texture memory the render resolution and the view distance has the biggest effect on your fps okay effects quality you can only go down to medium you can put this to high if you've got no fps issues texture quality is the quality of the textures that you are seeing okay texture memory is how much vram is being used on your graphics card you can run msi afterburner to see the vram change especially in the big city you will see the vram change from epic too low i can't run it at epic because even on a 3060 ti on these graphic settings at 1440p it goes over the 8 gig virtual memory okay that i've got on my graphics card so i keep that on high so and of course view distance just how far everything renders in front of you foliage quality is not the amount of plants that you see it's the quality of the plants motion blur most of us know what motion blur is okay it blurs your vision when you look around so everyone tends to put that off light functions very important in games without light functions from you know all light sources um it doesn't help a lot and it won't it won't give you a lot more fps shadow precision and shadow resolution will affect your fps quite a lot so if you want the best fps put this on zero and put this on 512 of course, if you want the best visual representation, 2 and 2000 is the best. I don't see a big difference to 4000 and then um, 0 and 1. I do see a precision difference. The precision looks very wonky. From 2 and above, it looks better. Distant field shadows, okay, are basically just the shadows of the trees and the objects in the distance. Okay, I like to leave this on. If you want better FPS, you want to see people in a, at a distance without shadows, you know, um, making it more difficult for you to see things um, at a distance, you can put this off. Distant field ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion is, is literally the blocking of light with certain objects at a distance. Okay, again, just another way of um, having light effects at a distance which has a media, which has a small effect on frames, so not that important. Refraction quality, um, literally, I will bring this up for you guys as well. When it comes to refraction quality, refraction quality controls the quality of light bending effects for semi-transparent surfaces. For example, on Zarya shields, turning the setting to high will allow the shield to look more tangible as it will handle light elements much more realistic okay so it just makes objects look more look more tangible i'm putting this on epic i used to put it on low and my and i got a lot more fps but it looked the you know my picture looked a lot more flat so i'm testing this on epic see how that goes for us reflection environment mapping 
just the reflections of objects okay not a lot of not a big fps um trans um, translucency volume blur is again just blur that you get when light travels through transparent surfaces okay and i put this off it does work um, you know it does work with depth of field but i can't put depth of field um I can put it off, but in on the horizon, if I put depth of field off, the horizon glitches a lot for me. Okay, so in the comments down below, you guys can tell me how to get the horizon that glitches out now and then. Okay, away. But I put that off and I put this um, on high. Lens flare quality, it's just the flaring, you know, of lens flare quality. I'll put this on low because, again, I don't want... A lens flare can obstruct your vision, okay? So it can get you killed or um, hamper your vision on another character. Color, color fringe is basically chromatic abbreviation or aberration. It gives you that red, um, red tinty... Um, look on the edge makes things look more realistic when they're moving but when they're standing still it doesn't look too good so i just leave that off bloom quality you know just basically the light as you improve the bloom quality you know the more bloom you will get i think that's self-explanatory tone tone mapper quality is just the the tone that the that the developers wanted to set in this game with the unreal engine um, you will see that when I go to low, it actually becomes lighter, okay? So you're getting less and less of the effect, you know, of the environmental effects that the devs intended. So I just put this on epic. If you want a lot more FPS, go put it on low or lowest. Light shafts, um, I just leave this on. Doesn't have a lot of FPS effect. Um, separate translucency pass also doesn't have a high FPS effect. If you want one or two to three more FPS, you can put that off. Cloud quality has got a big effect on the game, but when I put this down to low, the clouds bother me a lot because the weather effects are the biggest thing going for Scum at the moment. You know, and it just bothers me quite a bit. And then if, if anyone has got any advice on streaming speed, let me down the comment down the comments below. I want technical advice on how this works. Okay, and like I and then of course in the comments I will give you guys brief links, you know, to more information of all the graphic settings. Guys, if there's any pros out there, please in the comments down below give a summary of what you feel all the technical terms we don't need to understand you know the common terms but any of the terms like separate translucency pass you know stuff like that or streaming speed if you've got technical terms for it if there are any photography geniuses out there you know just put it down in the comments below let us help each other and i'm sorry that this video went over um 10 minutes guys but the previous edit that i did was in half an hour so you guys must be glad that this one's at least underneath 15 minutes because apparently I can't shut up when I start talking. And yes, this is this is as concise as I can give it to you guys. Please help each other down in the comments below so that we can have clarity. Put your PC specs and your graphic settings which you are happy with so that we can help each other. See you guys in the next episode where we are going to be covering all the skills in Scum and how they affect, you know, your gameplay and your skills. So see you guys next time. Have a great day. Cheers.